Coming up next on Sledhead 24-7. From mild to wild, check out these custom sled builds. From our friends at Dennis Kirk, staged a contest to see what sled heads could dream up and build. We'll check out the best of the best and meet the winners. What's the best way to protect your hands when the trail or track gets rough? We'll check in with the folks at Rocks and check out their latest ways to protect your paws and a whole lot more. Later, Big Fish takes our Sledhead 24-7 Ram and shares just how to ensure it stays Ram tough. And we'll look back on the life and times of our good friend and rider Rob Kincaid. Rocky Mountain Rob, he packed in a lot of living. Sledhead 24-7, take two. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Sledhead 24-7. I'm Jeff Fisher. And I'm Haley Shanley. And we've joined up once again with Dennis Kirk for their sled build contest. And there are some great builds. Absolutely. Taking home our wild bragging rights might be our youngest winner yet, a project four years in the making, a 1971 Skidoo Elan. You know, and Michael did such a great job on it, and he even raced it at ERX, and he has plastic gold to prove it. Dennis Kirk approached Sledhead 24-7 last year, and we had such a great time with this sled build. It was just a no-brainer to do it again with them. To go through all these builds and to see the passion that all these people have when they're building some machines. To do what they're doing, you better have a passion for the sport or you're not gonna make it. You know, I really love this contest. You know, I've been around the industry for quite a few years, and I grew up on a lot of these same machines that they're building and to see some of these older machines restored and some of these wild machines taken and built into something a little more exotic and cool it gives me goosebumps just to see these builds. You know our wild winner? Now this is kind of a cool build. He took a 71 Elan and added parts to make it a little more modern. Still gives it the old Skidoo Elan look. So it was really fun to see this. And actually to see Michael actually go out and get some trophies just proves the passion he has is growing. And Michael had a goal. He wanted to take that Elan and make it even better. So by adding the more current snowmobile parts to it, he was able to make it handle and go through the snow better than it did. This is a video of my 1971 Scooter Elan X. This is some of the trophies that I've won with it. We have a 136 inch and a half paddle track on it. We bought the rails and all of the suspension it's hand built and custom. A 335 single throw tax. It started out with the original 250 single and then we upgraded it. The 38 millimeter Makuni carburetor with a Canon air filter. Dennis Kirk. A 102C Comet clutch. Gene to fit the 335. And we had to modify the clutch guard to fit there too. We made a custom seat riser that I can store all of my extra tools and stuff if I break down. And it's a factory tunnel, but since it had rust on the back, we cut off some of it. And then we added an extra seven inches on the back of it so we can fit the longer track underneath it. You know, congratulations, Michael. And Dennis Kirk will be sending you a $250 Dennis Kirk gift certificate. Spend it wisely and buy some good parts. You know, for only being 11 years old, he's got a lot of great riding ahead of himself. Now let's not forget about our mild winner. Corey Ellison restored from the ground up this vintage beauty, 1976 Skidoo TNT RV 250. You know what? And there was no part left unturned. Now Corey took a 76 TNT RV 250 and totally restored that. And the way Corey uh, restored this snowmobile, I mean, he had the passion, he took everything apart. It just shows that when you're trying to make something original, it takes a little more time and money to do that. And thank you, Corey Aces, that brings back a lot of memories. 
my dad had that exact sled brand new and I remember getting to ride it, not a whole lot, I was pretty little, but I was able to get on and run it around a little bit and to see that, I can hardly wait to ride yours. You know, and Corey, for all your time and effort, Dennis Kirk is sending you a $250 gift certificate for their store. What's next for Dennis Kirk, you ask? Well, this summer they also have a motorcycle contest. Check it out. This is the Polaris 650 Matrix, but you can call it what it really is, a game changer. Jeff Big Fish Fisher rides, rates, and reviews a sled that will put a smile on your face. Rock's handguards have always been the best, but this Minnesota company has a few more ideas that all snowmobile riders will love. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, Runs on Freedom, by Polaris, by FXR, maximum versatility for all conditions, and powered by Ram Trucks, built to serve. When you think of handguards, you think of Rock Speed FX, but this company is growing. So much more than that, they are making bars, bar risers, running board traction, you name it. You know, and they're even branching out now into Harley bar risers, ATV, you know, they're, they're getting bigger and bigger all the time. So much selection, how do I know which products are best for my machine? Good question. You go on their website, they have an application chart. You plug in your machine, It'll tell you what they suggest for bar risers, what size, what handlebars, what seat cover, you name it, Rox has you covered. It's been said that the history of Rox Speed FX can be defined in just two words, vision and family. The vision of great design and real world testing by a Minnesota company that put value on family time spent on the trail. You know, one of the first things we do when we get our new sleds, we go on Rock Speed FX, pick out our sled, pick out what kind of goodies we want to accessorize our new snowmobiles. They got different, you know, bars, they have bar risers. We have the hand guards, which they're known for, being the industry leading in the hand guards. Now they have a seat cover for better grip, and then we can get their uh, floorboard grippers to keep our feet in place. They got us covered for our, any kind of a rider ergos. The extremely popular hand guard kit includes your choice of color. FlexTech guards are designed to handle the toughest riding conditions in the real world of rough riding. One of the things that we developed a number of years ago um, was our FlexTech hand guards. Um, it's a very popular hand guard. It's mounted up to a flexible backbone that allows the rider, if he should tumble or needs to turn the sled over, the hand guard flexes and will not break off the snowmobile pack. So the idea behind this was to make a flexible system, get into some trouble, and it would take the abuse, um, whether it's backwards or sideways or forwards or up and down. Next step up from the FlexTech handguard is the ProTech handguard. The ProTech is widely used on the snowcross and cross country circuits. It is a larger coverage area. It also still is flexible. So again, if you uh, get in a tough spot and you gotta roll a sled or you you know, your sled tumbles over, and you know, this is gonna move with your, with your setup, so you don't, so it's not gonna break off. Oh, but they, they help a lot. It uh, makes us focus on uh, just the riding instead of try to change position of the hand to don't get hit about any ice or snow stuff. So they work really, really good, and it uh, feels pretty safe to have them there. I've ran the Rocks products for seven years now, pretty much since day one, so it's a great product to have behind me. You know, they make everything from ski supports to traction, a uh, nice bar pad for when I slam my head on the bar when I go huge. <laughs> yeah, I'd recommend these to any rider, any level of riding, you know, from out on the snowcross track to on the trails, you know, in the mountains, everything. They keep your hands warm, you know, keep Keep all the roost out of your hands and you know, never like to get some ice in your knuckles, so. You know, we've been working with Rocks for a long time and uh, he's got his new ProTech guards. They graphic up and look great. Lots of extra protection for the hands to keep them nice and warm and dry. Super lightweight and uh, Rocks, uh, the whole group, especially Chris, is just an outstanding group to work with.
All the Rocks gear is battle tested by the pros on the Amsoil Championship Snowcross, powered by Ram. Tough only begins to describe what may be the last set of handguards you will buy. When Sledhead 24-7 roars back, the latest news on the Polaris 650 Matrix. Find out why the experts are calling it a game-changing sled. But first, time for today's Amsoil Tech Tip. Hey, I'm Jeff Fisher with Sledhead 24-7. We've been doing a lot of work on the new snowmobiles. Now it's time to take care of our tow rig. So we're in the shop, we're gonna give our tow rig a little love. It's been taking us all over the countryside. So today we're giving it an oil change. We're using Amsoil 100% Synthetic Signature Series Max Duty Diesel Engine Oil. It's a purpose built to protect diesel power. Using top tier synthetics and boosted additives, Amsoil provides six times more wear protection than required by a leading diesel engine manufacturer. Amsoil oil filters provide a filtering efficiency of 99% at 20 microns, one of the best ratings on the market. The efficiency of a filter's ability to capture contaminants. The more efficient a filter is, the more contaminants will remove from the oil. These filters last longer and ensure oil is properly filtered. That's good. If you'd like to fire it up, make sure no check engine lights are coming on. Take a quick peek underneath the truck, make sure that the oil filter isn't dripping, make sure that was tight. Make sure there's no drips under the motor. I mean, you hate to dump all that fresh oil out on the ground. The folks at Amsoil, they take such good care of me. They knew I was doing a little work to our Ram tow vehicle. So they knew I was doing an oil change and they thought, you know what? Why don't we uh, send Jeff an air filter too to let his truck breathe a little better. So we're gonna take out this dirty one, put a nice clean new one in. Thank you, Amsoil. To see the whole line of diesel products, Go on amsoil.com forward slash diesel. You know, Haley, we had a lot of great Ram road trips this year. Those things pulled our trailers, pulled all of our equipment wherever we needed to go. That's true, these Ram trucks really stood up to the test. And how would you know you were sleeping most of the time? Can you blame me? You get in there, it's so quiet, you turn the heated seats on, that's all she wrote. You heard it. She's tested those seats. Great for sleep. Ram road trips, we're always pulling something. I don't think I've done a trip in the last 10 years without pulling a trailer of some sorts. From a, just a two place trailer, open trailer, to our big six place enclosed. And we get up into the mountains where their diesel power is very, very noticeable. We can get up, pull through the mountains effortlessly, gets us to our chutes, and that's really important. You know, some of my best trips, our Ram road trips, are going to our sneak peeks because that's where we get to see next year's model before anybody else. And that's pretty cool to be able to uh, be a handful of uh, enthusiasts and media that get a chance to do that. You know, I can hardly wait for next season. We're packing up the Ram and we're going on some road trips. But we also have some watercross racing too to do this summer. Wow, Big Fish makes it look easy and fun. Sure, he's an expert and that's why Fish gives the Ram a Sledhead 24-7 season tested seal of approval. Looking to learn more about Ram truck power? Log on to RamTrucks.com. Say when you come out west, you need to know how to build a fire. Still ahead, a tribute to a Sledhead 24-7 friend who left us way too soon. Rocky Mountain Rob Kincaid packed in a lot of living and we'll celebrate some of what made Rob one of the all-time greats. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil. Runs on freedom. Track, trail, or tree line. Ride with rocks. By Stud Boy. Traction with an attitude. Ziegler Cat. Exceptional service backing the best equipment. And by the U.S. Air Force. Aim high. 
Let's change gears to Polaris. Jeff, I'm hearing a lot of buzz about this Polaris Matrix chassis. You know, this Polaris Matrix chassis is a definitely a game changer. The ergos of this machine, it makes it so effortless to ride and corner. But not to sell it short is their 650 motor. This thing is going to revolutionize the industry. I, hear, I kept hearing rumors from Polaris of a different motor, and I kept thinking, oh, they're gonna make a four stroke? Are they making a triple? Are they making, you know, what are they gonna make? Well, they surprised me with a 650 twin. When I first heard it, I thought, well, yeah, 650, 50 cc's more. You know, it should be noticeable. But then I had a chance to ride it, and I was pleasantly surprised. That has torque and power way more than a 600 does. And I was really surprised on how acceleration, I mean, that against an 850, I can't imagine that 650 to be far behind it. 650 variant gives us all the goodness of the 850. So the quick revving nature, the strong, durable lower end, and just puts a new uh, top end on it. So it's a narrow, smaller bore, same stroke, electronically controlled valve. So we have an engine that is very durable, very efficient, and has tremendous fun factor. So in its class, you know, that 600, call it 120 to 130 horsepower class, it'll have the highest power to weight ratio of anything out there. So just a tremendous fun factor, but still get really good fuel economy, which a lot of those customers really care about. And the one thing that the players engineers are telling me about the 650 is the efficiency they're getting out of it. But they're telling me 30, 40, 50% better fuel economy than a 600. And in my opinion, that's gonna put it right up there with the four strokes as far as fuel economy. And the thing's got great power. I mean, it's, it's linear, it's quick responding. It's really a fun sled to ride. I mean, I like riding the 600, but the 650 just has a little more grunt. It almost puts it in the 800 classification as far as the pull it has out of the hole. You know, in the 650, Polaris is saying 10% more horsepower than the 600. Well, any of you who are, can do the math without taking your shoes off, you know, you know it's got some more power. So 50 cc's, they gained a lot more horsepower than I would have guessed. They're just doing a great job. I mean, they're cutting back on the fuel like for startup so it doesn't go super rich, so you get less smoke at startup, which, you know, which makes it run more efficiently. And that's what they're really after with this motor. They're making a very efficient motor, smooth and pulse. We've had a great 600 engine in our Liberty Clean Fire 600, but we're bringing a whole new level of durability, refinement, efficiency, fuel economy, along with power. Of course, we're gonna bring power because that's what we would love to do. Our 650 that we're launching is based on the Patriot engine platform. So we launched the Patriot 850 um, back in 2019. And in 21, we're bringing a 650 based on that same bottom end. So the crankcase and the crankshaft and how it mounts into the chassis are very, very similar. As a matter of fact, the case is nearly exactly the same. The mounting is the same. Crankshaft has to be a little bit different because it's balanced for a 650. Um, but based on that 850 bottom end and then with a smaller bore to, to make it a 650, gives you a big step forward in refinement and durability. The fuel economy numbers on it are just exceedingly awesome. Um, when we compare it to our to our Liberty 600, um, we're seeing fuel economy numbers that are more than 50% better in some of our lower speed trail testing. In our kind of combined 25 to 45 mile an hour testing, we're seeing numbers that are more than 40% better than our current 600. So a big step forward in economy, but of course, a lot of power, a lot of response, 10% more horsepower than our, than our uh, Liberty 600. So super refined, responsive, fast and efficient engine. Really excited to get the 650 in our customers' hands. You know, if you're interested in the 650, you know, go online and build your sled. I mean, there's only certain models you can get this new 650 motor in, all the Matrix platforms and in the 146s and the XCs. Uh, so look at them. I mean, if you're looking at uh, trying to decide between a 600 and an 850 or a 600 and 800, look at that 650. I think that's going to put you right in the middle, you're gonna have the power, be playful, but yet get some fuel economy, easy to ride. It's just an all around, I think, a really great fit for the industry. Say when you come out west, you need to know how to build a fire. You're at, you have to clamp, you can run. Yeah, you can Well, more sombering <laughs> note, uh, we at Sledhead 24-7 lost a real good friend in a snowmobiling incident. Uh, and the snowmobile industry lost an icon. Rob Kincaid, 
he was uh, just a, a fun guy. He was a great outdoorsman and he was a real good advocate for the sport of snowmobiling as well. Rob was a character, but he backed it up on the snowmobile. We had a lot of good memories with Rob, had a lot of fun riding with him, and uh, his memory's gonna go on. He respected everybody as riders, and uh, we just had a real good time. We had a lot of pranks and fun things we did over the years. Uh, he was always a good sport about it. He got me as well as I got him, so uh, Rob, you're gonna be missed. I know a little cowboy from Idaho who was a Michigander not long ago. He has a little brother named Jeremy who rides upon his mom's horse cause he's so wee. He likes to go out hunting with his BB gun and likes to shoot things until the day is done. So when you go out in the Teton range, Robbie Kincaid is his name our winter snowmobiles away we're going to pull out our summer snowmobiles and for some watercross action thanks for watching i'm Haley shanley and i'm jeff fisher and we'll see you on the trail sledhead 24 7. if it happens on the snow find it here first snowmobile destinations sled evaluations lifestyles aftermarket and product reviews highlighting all aspects of racing and get the inside coverage on the Amsoil Championship Snowcross. Sledhead 24-7, where we are everything snowmobile.